joyous occasion is the official coming together of two people who have loved each other for so long. I know from experience how much it means to be surrounded by loved ones at a time like this. I always cry at weddings. My grandmother has asked me to read a sonnet from William Shakespeare. <sighs> Let me not to the marriage of true minds admit impediments. Love is not love which alters when it alteration finds, or bends with a remover to remove. Oh no. It is never fixed mark that looks on tempests and is never shaken. It is the star to every wandering bark whose worth's unknown, although his height be taken. Love's not time's fool, though rosy lips and cheeks within his bending sickle's compass come, but bears it out even to the edge of doom. If this be error and upon me proved, I never writ, nor no man ever loved. Um, so obviously, <laughs> I am no Shakespeare, but I would also like to speak a little bit from the heart. Um, until very recently, I had little to no memory of, of any of you. Uh, I was told that you loved me and that I loved you. But I struggled with that, with trying to feel um, the love that I just didn't remember. But now I realize that love isn't tied to the past. Uh, for as long as, as John and my grandmother have loved each other, what we're celebrating here today isn't you know, the memory of that love. It's that it still exists and is still alive today um, and present. So love to me is living every moment like a breath, um, every moment as if it were a heartbeat. Just doing it. Well, this is just a memory that Will and I had 